This is the sixth experiment, which is Michelson interferometer. In this experiment, we are going to measure the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave source, index of refraction of air, and index of refraction of the of a thin glass. In the Michelson interferometer, the characteristics of the fringe patterns depend on the phase difference. There are two ways that is to change the phase. Uh, one of them is to change the distance traveled by the electromagnetic wave. The other one is to change the medium. First part, we will change the distance and measure the wavelength by counting the fringes. According to the formula, we can calculate the wavelength. In second part, we will change the medium of the cell. The wavelength varies based on the on this formula. This is the wavelength in vacuum and this is the index of refraction of the material. At the beginning, we have an initial fringe, fringes at atmospheric pressure. At final pressure, we have a final fringes at P gauge. Here, M is the fringes, fringe difference we we need to call uh, we need to count. initial fringe minus final fringe number. If we write the uh, wavelength in here, We get the formula like this. And we have a constant term. <coughs> this ratio is constant and linear, which is equal to there we can calculate the uh, final index of refraction, which is in the in index of refraction of the air. Final part, we will measure the index of refraction of a glass by changing the angle of the glass in which is between the reflector and the splitter. By changing the angle, we make the 
electromagnetic wave travels longer in the glass and it makes the path difference bigger. Based on the formula, can calculate the index of refraction of the glass. In, in this setup, we have a laser source and a mo movable, uh, I'm sorry, movable mirror, adjustable mirror, beam splitter, and the screen where we see the fringes on the screen. We have a micrometer knob. When we change the distance between the mirrors, we, we can see the fringe uh, difference. Uh, normally we have a screen on the setup but uh, in the, on the screen this is very difficult to count the fringes so if we use a paper or a whiteboard we can easily see the fringes in a large scale. Now we start with the four micrometer and we're, we're going to change up to three micrometer and we are going to count the fringes. If we focus on the two parallel drawing where the first fringe can be seen. So let's start counting. Now we have counted 303 fringes, which is M, and the displacement is 1 micrometer, which is 10 to the minus 6 meters. So
right. After the calculation, we find the wavelength of the power source as 660 nanometer. Of course, we may have uh, missed some fringes, so we get the uh, wavelength as as this. Normally, we use the helium neon laser, which has a wavelength. 60, 33 nanometers. Now in the second part, we have a vacuum pump. Uh, we use this for uh, the pumping the air in the this apparatus. So we, we change the wavelength. Now if we pump the air out, we can see the Print changes. So in this part, we are going to change the pressure and count the number of fringes. count the 14 fringes when the pressure is as high as possible. Now we count 14 the fringes and we know the wavelength of the laser in the previous part as 660 nanometers. The thickness of the vacuum chamber is 3 centimeters. So if we plug these values in the equ equation, You find the index of refraction of air, which is after the calculation one point zero 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 one five four. Now the final part, we, we are going to calculate the index of refraction of the glass. So we have uh, this apparatus, 
and by changing the angle we going to see the fringe changes let's count the fringe number Here in 4 degrees, we have 21 fringes. We count 21 fringes in 4 degrees change. So if we put the, all the values in the equation, Here an air that we found the previous part, which is one point zero 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 one five four and lambda zero from the first part, which is six hundred and sixty nanometer, theta is four fringe. Number is 21, and we get the index of refraction of the glass as 1.11.